Welcome to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright. This show is all about honoring you as a spiritual being having a human experience. You are here for a reason, and it's no mistake that you are here on Earth right now. Spirit has guided you to this very moment in time so you could hear the messages Pam is about to share with you. She is a multidimensional healer, light language channel, transformation coach, wife and mother committed to helping you discover the tools and practices to empower you to live the best life you can. You get to choose the spirit path you take. You can connect to the spiritual guidance already all around you. Get ready to live a fully empowered life. This is the Empower Me Show. Welcome back to the Empower Me Show. My name is Pam Bright. And guess what? It's the new year. Happy New Year, everyone. 2024. Brand new year, brand new possibilities, brand new energy. And we're kicking it off with our channeled healing show with Nancy Drew and myself. Welcome again, Nancy, to the show. I'm so glad you're here. I'm thrilled. Thank you so much for having me. Yay! All right. So I get really excited about this particular episode because I just get to let it all hang out. <laughs> so I usually do anyway with you every week, but this one is very dear to my heart because this is really why I'm here in a body on the planet earth is to channel in whatever light spirits want to connect with you, the audience. So you as a soul get to really, really be supported. And at this time in life, this particular time in history, it's vital that we connect to the, all of the spiritual energy that we possibly can. And because of the dynamics of all of the world issues that are happening on a regular basis now, it's vital that we have as much support as possible. So this is why we're here today. It's because we believe in you. We believe in what you're here for. We believe that you have a mission to accomplish as a soul, and we want to support you in that, as well as ourselves. This is also for us because we love the work that we do, don't we, Nancy? Oh my God, it's the best. I'm so honored to be able to do it. I just feel so blessed. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks for joining with me in this show. So before we get started, as always, I want to bring in the energies uh, that want to be here now, and then of course we'll continue to bring them in as the show goes on. First, I want to show you this shirt because this shirt represents me <laughs> as a soul and the bright butterfly that I am. So here we go. She oh, that's beautiful. Here. She's here in all of her glory, here for you. And for those of you who aren't seeing her, she's an angel. Um, she's also my bright butterfly. So she's, you know, whatever you connect to with this presence, um, is is the perfect energy for you to connect to so we're going to bring in the bright butterfly we are going to bring the angelic presences in and we're going to ask also for any galactic energies that want to support us as well as the earth mother gaia and all of her connections within herself so thank you creator for this moment and this way that we get to connect together as soul in body. Hi, 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 hey, hi, hi, hey. So we bring that energy in through the tops of our heads, connecting in with our brains, bringing that all the way down into our spinal column. Where our spinal column is, we it's called the pillar of light, which connects in with all of our connectors within us, the nerves centers, the muscles, the tendons, the bone, all of the parts of the systems in us 
and then it goes down and it connects in with the earth. And so we're going to connect down into the earth and ask her energy to come up now. Na za na na ye i a na za na ho na za ne Earth Mother, please come in through, fully into our feet and into our legs and our whole torsos really connecting in with all of the cosmic energies that want to be here as well. We invite in our teachers, angels, and guides into this moment, asking for their assistance today. All right, and this vortex is now open and available for you and your, <laughs> your soul to experience all of who you are in this moment. And this is the moment, guys, when you get to check in with your body system and in your life so far in 2024. See what's already shown up for you. Might have been at the end of 2023 and into 2024 where you're like, wow, I'm right in the middle of a crisis. Or, boy, you know, I have a brand new job that I just started and I don't really know what to expect. Maybe you're a person that just moved or was looking to move to a new location and you really could use some assistance with that. Check in with us. Let us help you with the work that we do, bringing in the help that you need. Because we channel in that energy with light language, as well as the guidance that comes automatically for us. That's something we have been skilled in for a while now. And so we can assist you in your next steps. So 1-800-930-2819 is the phone number. You can call us. Or you can text into the chat line at transformationtalkradio.com. So please, please, please let us know what you need. Okay. We're here for you. So Nancy, welcome back to the oh, show. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So um, for you, what is happening for you so far in 2024? It's only been a few days. But 2023 happened, we ended the new year, the, the last year, and then got the new year in the last couple of days. So what's happening for you right now that you feel like, huh, okay, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little excited, I'm a little concerned, I'm a little unsure, I'm really just wanting to kind of be in the moment. What's happening for you? For the past couple of months, I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety. And I don't normally have so much anxiety, but I wake up with it. I have it in my sleep. I, you know, and I have to fight it all day long. It feels like all day long. I'm, and it, when I talk to other people, I hear that they're having a lot of issues with anxiety too. There's so much going on with the energy on the planet. There's so much that it's hard for our little human selves to handle this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just trying to control the anxiety to r relax and meditate and be as peaceful as possible. I've been listening to Barbara Streisand music <laughs> instead of my normal kind of music. Just anything to try and get me to calm down mm -hmm. because I feel like at night, I am at war, I'm going somewhere and dealing with a lot of off-planet stuff. And then I come back and then I deal with the stuff that is here. So it's been a really stressful time. I was hoping that um, magically when the um, calendar turned, it would all go <laughs> away. But unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. But one thing I did do that I don't normally do is right at the end of the year, I went to the beach. Ooh. And I just went to the beach and I just sat 
on at, at the beach and it wasn't a pretty day or anything. And I just said, let go of everything I could let go of and bring forth the space so new and beautiful things could come through. So I might make that suggestion, even though the beach isn't the prettiest place to be right now. And I personally tend to ignore it at this time of year. It's a good thing to go there because I felt a lot more energized and like something came off of me when I did that. I got that. I got that. So I have some things to say about that. The ocean is specifically, but also any body of water, whether it be a lake or a stream, um, even a pond <laughs> with water in it. Water comes from the sky, right? From the heavens. So we're getting that energy from the cosmos into um, our planet. So it's nourishing the planet. And when we go to moving water, like an ocean or a stream, we get that movement happening, that flow, and that feeling of, right? That is actually the energy that is speeding up oh. on the planet. So when we connect into that, it's because the, that's the energy that we're moving into. And that's why it's really vital that we remember, oh, we're moving into the divine feminine because the divine feminine is saying, look, this energy from the male world, the ma divine male energy is I'm coming in to balance it out. So, so the divine feminine says, yes, this go, go, go is happening. The divine feminine comes in and says, allow, allow, it's okay, you're safe. You can be with the male energy at the same time as the female energy, you're safe. And so let's actually hone right in on that point, that axis, if you will. What feels like it's a problem, because <laughs> we're not used to it. We're not used to, wait, we know how to go, go, go. We know that world of go, 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 struggle, 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 push, 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 make things happen, right? We know that energy. This new energy, I just did a channeling about this in my business with the newsletter, is the new energy is the divine feminine, which it's been here for a while, but now it's the fifth dimension some of us, you know, some of you are still going into the fourth dimension and that's fine. You're just opening. That's great. You're just opening to, oh, there's spiritual life. There's a God somewhere. There's connection. And that's awesome. And I'm, I'm looking at how can I get out of anger? How can I get out of fear? How can I get out of worry and allow the spiritual energies to come in? Some of you are like, okay, I'm in the fourth dimension now. I am very connected. I'm starting to really trust this power that's coming in, even though I may not understand it. The fifth dimension is, oh, the divine feminine now is coming in and tapping on my shoulder saying, just stop fighting. <laughs> stop <sighs> fighting. Allow 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 and then we go up to the sixth seventh eighth ninth right we just keep ascending as the earth is ascending so with that allowing we get to just oh, like we get to just relax into it even though it feels very different and very like wait kind of Equilibrium might be off a little bit. Balance is off. Like, where do I stand? Where do I move? How do I be? And I've got to help us here with some cards, okay? This is the star oracle cards, the star seed oracle cards. So we're going to see what the cosmos, the angelics, and the galactic beings have to tell us about that because they're watching. They're watching us and they're saying, hey, you guys are doing great. <laughs> as a collective, you're doing amazing and we're here to help you. So now we get to trust that we're being guided, supported in every way. And we get to just take a breath and step into that. 
don't know if you could see that. Maybe you can't. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I have a friend who makes these beautiful things out of selenite, but can you see it says breathe? I I've love been, that. I can't I've been see carrying it, but it around. Oh, you can't see. But, but I've been can... carrying it around because I need to remind myself to breathe. Just yep. breathe. Yep. You're well, and darling, darling of mine, the card that just comes up and this is, you know, I'm connected. So the perfect card always shows up. This is the breath of the cosmos card. <laughs> Isn't that great? Look at that. I love it. Look at I that. Love it. Just There's no accidents ever. It's always just insane. That's right. My it's this it says my will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds like Nancy. So, <laughs> okay. So our breath, our sacred breath within us helps us with that micromanagement that we all tend to want to grab on to, right? Especially, I love it. Especially Just breathe United, and allow. Yeah. Especially in the United States, this place of independence um, and this place of, you know, the, 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 what they call the melting pot <laughs> of all people. We tend to think that it's all about us. We think, tend to think that we've got to have it all together. We tend to think that if we don't know exactly what's going on, that there's something missing in us, right? This is telling me, oh, I get to, I get to create with the divine, not separately. It's not about my way. And it's not about, um, it's not about just handling, um, you know, everything by myself. She's actually here kind of falling back into this world of, ha, ah, it's the cosmos. I love the cosmos. I love getting support from the cosmos. And so that's really important to allow that to happen. And as we do that, the more support that we get, all right? And I just got to notice that my battery needs to be charged on my computer. So I'm going to take a couple minutes to do that. And Nancy, if you can just breathe into this card, connect in with what wants to come in with that. And then if we get a caller, it'll be perfect timing for you to take it. And I will be right back with all of you. Okay. Okay. Um, my guides would love to start sending out love and healing to all of you. So while we're waiting for Pam, let's do it. So as we connect in with our sacred breath, know that your sacred breath is connected to my sacred breath and my sacred breath is connected to Nancy's sacred breath and Nancy's sacred breath is connected to everyone's sacred breath. Every one of us on this planet Earth are connected. Though you may feel alone and separate, know that you are connected by your breath. And that breath will teach each one of us what our next steps are. So, I invite each of us to connect in with our breath and see if we can focus our breath from the earth herself and ask her to breathe us 
So the way we do that is we connect in with her and we ask her, Mother Earth, please, Gaia, please bring your breath up into our bodies, bringing you all the way in through the bottoms of our feet, up into our legs, into our hips, into our backs. Our backs are what hold us upright, giving us the support and the ability to be human and upright on the earth plane, come into every organ, into all of our torsos, our necks, connecting in with our voice, our vocal cords, our voice box, into our brains and all of our face, our ears, and going down into our arms and our fingers. And as we feel this breath breathing us from the earth, connecting with our own breath, then we bring that breath all the way up through the tops of our heads and connecting to out in our field around us. Connecting in with the trees, the sacred trees that know how to be. There's no effort with them. They know exactly what they're doing. Every bit of nature knows how to breathe and knows how to live. There's no efforting with that. And as we connect in with the grasses and the waters, that again know exactly what they're doing, there's no questioning how to be. We remember Oh, they are our teachers. So we ask them to assist us now in learning how to just be, allowing us to just be. In being, there's no efforting. So it's remembering our beingness and allowing our beingness to guide us in every moment. And we ask the star beings and all of the planets to assist us now in our being. Would you like to call in the galactics, Nancy? Well, I don't think I need to call them. They're all here. Right. But, um, I'll talk to them. They might have something to say. Yep. sending you so much love just so much love is going out to everyone they love us so much and they're here to support us and love us and they adore us and they want us to know we each have wings we each are so beautiful and we each have wings all day mm. oh. So sometimes <clears throat> when, in this day and age, when we're using the internet, we're using Zoom, we're using 
ways of communicating this way, the energies come in and they're so strong <laughs> with those of us who are connected that our our ability to function in this world of technology tends to get a little bit skewed and challenged. And so those of you who are noticing that as you're watching this, this program, know that it's perfect too, because <laughs> our systems are changing and that's what I'm very aware of. Every system on the planet is being challenged right now because old systems that are no longer work are dying off they're being let go of and we're noticing this we're noticing businesses shutting down we're noticing really long-standing businesses that have been around for long like forever it seems are now ending right and some of us are going through grieving about that and so if you're one that is like wait my favorite store is now they're leaving what are they doing shutting down my life is at stake because they're leaving me right now i don't want to make light of that but that's true our humanity gets challenged because we're noticing that things are changing in a big way it's perfect timing folks because new systems are coming on board new ways of doing business new ways of communicating new ways of of functioning in this world now, right? So allow, once again, allow, allow it to be the way it is, allow it to unfold, allow the old systems to die off, allow us to release, allow the flow of the waters to guide us now. Another thing that's happening pretty regularly now is our remembering of other lifetimes when we were not human. Those of us who are remembering, oh, the dragon energies, oh, the dragons are coming in fully now. We're having visions of dragons. Others of us are remembering times when we lived in the ocean as fish or mermaids. Yes, those things that they call fairy tales that we don't we think are not real. We're remembering that in our bodies and we're having visions of those. Um, something I'd love to connect in with you with, Nancy, is that visioning and that knowing inside of yourself, oh yeah, I'm connected. Huh. Why am I why do I know I'm connected? Because I know it, right? So anything that you can share with us about some visions that you've had that you've wondered, okay, is this real? How can I know? What do I trust? How do I get confirmation? All of that. That would be great to hear. The best thing I could say for me is I didn't awaken until my early 40s. And I'm 67 now. And um, I didn't know I had any abilities or anything until then, really. I just admired people that did, and I longed for it. But if stuff starts coming to you that doesn't make sense, like, why am I thinking of that? Why is, what, you know, like you see, my hands are all over the place because they're doing healing. My, the, so the sounds that come out of me, why did I make these sounds? I'm just allowing, I'm just allowing. So, um, an interesting experience I had that I'm going to tell you real quick is a long time ago, I've been to Sedona many, many times, but one time I went to Sedona and I kept hearing, as soon as I drove in, welcome back, welcome back. Um, you are a mermaid here. And I'm like, what? A mermaid in Sedona? There's no real water around there. There's a few lakes, but it's mostly, you know, these beautiful orange rock formations that if you look at them, they're full of layers and you could tell they've been underwater. But I'm getting all these messages from mermaids. And, and this is remember at the beginning when I'm like, this seems really weird. And then I'd go into restaurants and stuff and I'd see there's mermaid art on the wall. So I'm not the only one that is thinking 
you know, got something about mermaids being in Sedona. And then I slept that night and I got up to go to the bathroom and they're saying, oh, yes, you're a mermaid here. We'd we'd wrap ourselves together and we would play. And and they were describing my lifetime as a mermaid there. And I know I've been a mermaid a zillion times, but. um Oh, they're doing something for the mermaids, I guess. And it's Great. so funny. So many of my clients are mermaids or not are, but were. So if you start seeing weird things or hearing weird things, don't dismiss them. Just look into it, you know, and just like Pam said, just breathe and allow it. Take some notes and you'll get more information about it. But we are remembering, we are remembering that we have been many things aside from humans. And we have, and all these beings that I've been before really enjoy talking to me and coming through me. And the languages, when these languages started coming to me, like about eight years or so ago, I didn't know what was coming out of my mouth. Some of them sounded very Chinese. And I'd ask my Chinese friends, do you know what I'm saying? And they're like, no, you sound nuts to us. But it, I think it was ancient languages from other places. And then eventually I started getting translations for a lot of what I said. And but first it was just blah, 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 all this stuff coming out of me. And it's like, okay, I'll just allow it. Yeah. So did that answer your question? Yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. So okay, good. thank you. Um, yes. So yes, those of us who are remembering, remembering who we are as soul, we, it is very common, just so you know, those of you who are what we call waking up now, those of you who are waking up now and having these experiences that you can't explain, that's part of the remembering. Okay. So you're not crazy. Um, you don't have to go into a, into an insane asylum. You can actually be here now. And that's one of the gifts of being here in 2024 is that we know that we are not crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, we might look a little odd, <laughs> but we, but many of us feel more grounded and more alive in this, in the bodies that we have than we ever have. So this at this time in history, we get to learn how to be in a body fully and completely like, Ugh, I'm here now, right? And I can help you with really owning that um, and being here now and, and honoring this human experience and really open fully to who you are as, as soul. This is the dynamic that we're in now. This is the privilege that we have. And it's going to feel odd. I still am blown away by the amount of energy that comes through me these days because it's massive. And the more that I open and say, yes, the more information gets to come in. And as we're doing these transmissions of what we call light language or language of light, languages of light, our, it's our soul conversations that we get to have. Our souls know it intimately. They've lived it. They've breathed it. It's the way that we communicate from our soul. And our human brains, our telepathic brains that our psychic eyes and our psychic ears can now hear it and, and understand it, many of us. So allow it. Allow That's the word it. that just keeps coming in my head while you're talking. Allow, 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 allow. Don't question it. Just allow it. Don't think you're crazy. Don't think, oh, this must be evil or dark. Or, okay. Just allow it. Allow it. We have been these other things way more than we have been a human. Yep. And we just yep. don't remember. Yep. But we're starting to, we're starting yes. to, okay. Want you to pick please, as I bring, run my hand over, what's our next card? That one, down, down, down. This one or this one? The other one, not that one, this the one? next one. Yeah. Okay. What do we have people? What do we have? 
Okay, you see the screen, 1-800-930-2819. Call us. We want to answer your questions. Okay, the blue flame, the blue flame. Well, I happen to know that the blue flame that I know, which is connected right away, is Archangel Michael's flame. So he holds that blue flame as, as a way of transmitting energy to you. So if you see a blue flame, whether it be in a fire, outside in your, you know, in the, in the, on the earth, or you see it in your campfire, in your house, your, your fireplace, or you see it in your visions, let it in. Archangel Michael, spontaneous awakening. So Ooh. many of you. <laughs> what I'm hearing, Pam, sorry to interrupt, is no, great. Um, the blue flame, which I hear around a lot, and I know is Archangel Michael, is waiting to be invited in by you. So if you invite in this blue flame, wow, who knows what's going to transform in a positive way for you. That's great. Yep, Just going. waiting for an invitation. There we go. There we go. Yep. It's activation and it's integration time, it says. So so let's ask it in. Okay. <laughs> let's ask it in. All right. Blue Flame, we know that you are intimately connected to Archangel Michael. So we ask Archangel Michael now to come in fully into this transmission. And Ave we know you are so hungry for a source of love a source of light a source of comfort and archangel michael is saying I'm here. Just ask me to come in. I am here for you. Takana, and I think you are beautiful and perfect just exactly the way you are. And Tika, each one of you is priceless to me. Tikana, and it is a privilege for me to come to you. And it's a privilege for me to come and help you ascend at this time. We are so grateful that you are here on earth. And we are here to help you. Thank you, Michael, for being here now. And any of you who are ready to bring him into your spirit team, you, all you need to do is ask. Say, Archangel Michael, please come and be on my spirit team now. Amen. There we go. There we go. Those of you who are, those of you who are ready, you're just inviting him in and here's the thing that I want you to know about your spirit team. They are here with you every moment of every day and they want to connect to you consciously. So bring your consciousness to the connection. Like talk you get to talk to them just like you're talking to us now. We're talking to you in through this microphone, in our computers, into your ear. So this is the way that we communicate. They want you to consciously have a conversation, right? Do that consciously. So hear your own words. Archangel Michael, please come and be in my, on my team now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm now ready to learn from you. I'm now ready to receive from you. I'm now ready to honor you and uh, as who you are. Please teach me how to be in the world with your energy. Hey, <laughs> So I can feel people watching and I can also feel you 
afraid to call. <laughs> so I want to invite you guys to you alive. Not, you don't need Come to be on. scared. <laughs> you don't need to be scared. We're right here and you're safe. Okay. <laughs> there's Are probably you? an energy. There's oh, probably something right now that's like, oh, I want to say it, but I don't really know if I can. This is the time, guys. It's the time. You can take that leap. I promise you, you're going to be safe. Earth is a big school. And Archangel Michael said, I want to be the teacher in your homeroom class. <laughs> and then I'll send you out to different classes and you can come always come back to homeroom. <laughs> the reason I put Mother Mary up is, did you see that message we got, Pam? There was a text message that came in from did. Danielle. See if you oh, can oh. find that. Oh, Danielle, let me look. Let me look. Oh, Danielle. Okay, good. All right. The healing energy is powerful from Bridget. That was amazing. Good. Danielle De DeRocho says, I woke up from a nap three days ago and the Blessed Virgin Mary was standing at the foot of my bed. She spoke, bless you. This was just after receiving a terminal illness diagnosis of six to 12 months, already taking hospice to me. Okay, Danielle, we're going to send you some, some energy totally and completely from the Virgin Mary. Mother Mary, we now ask fully and completely to come in for Danielle. You're already working with her. We now ask fully and completely for this absolute healing for her, knowing that the body is simply the vehicle for connecting to source. So as you see this triangle diamond shape that has been formed, what I'm hearing is that that's a vortex, that's a, a portal that you can go right into. So you can do this for yourself is simply put your, your thumb and your forefinger together to create that portal. And then bring your third eye, just see yourself going right into that. And ask that the, the angels, guides, and teachers that are here for you now bring their energy and their healing into your body for integration, for sustenance, for the teaching of why this terminal illness has shown up for you. There's always a gift there, even though it feels like it's not. We allow, allow, allow. And what I'm hearing is that that's also the great central sun portal. So that's the way in to allow the great central sun to teach as well. And we thank the blue flame of Archangel Michael for assisting with Mother Mary, with Danielle's healing today and her, really her acceptance, again, allowance, allowance of what is, what has been shown as, oh, there's some cancer in the body. There's something, if it's not cancer, it's some other issue happening with the body. And we ask that that transitioning that's wanting to occur happen easily and naturally and with the minimal amount of physical pain. And we ask the guides, teachers, and angels to assist with every part of the healing part 
that wants to happen, the easing of pain, the easing of suffering. Suffering is a choice. We can allow suffering to just leave us as we accept the immense help that's available to us in every moment. We can transcend, transcend and transmute suffering into allowance and peace, acceptance and even joy. The soul is eternal. Pam, Daniel has called in. Daniel has called in. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's talk to her then. Okay, here is Danielle. I love it. All right, Danielle, hello, my dear. Oh. Well, thank you for writing in. And thank you for calling in. So I just went right into this healing for you, but we can definitely answer any questions for you or do some more healing work for you. What would you like? Wonderful. Thank you so much being there i really appreciate it you are welcome yes this was a blessing to receive her at my bedside our bed foot of my bed i bet I so so tell us about your experience of uh receiving her at your bedside you know for the last three days i have felt nothing but relaxed calm, comfortable in my skin. Um, it really has been a blessing. I, I, I keep thinking, my neighbor keeps telling me I'm just still in shock, but I don't think that's what it is. I really think that she calmed me and made me immediately accept what was happening to my body. Hmm. Lovely. Well, Here's the thing, when you tune in, when we as soul tune into what is happening with us, the truth is right there, isn't it? Yes. It's right there, yes. So yeah. Yeah. you can trust, you can trust that that experience was real for you. Okay. And you can trust that she's right here right now with you. Thank you. That so wonderful. And, yeah. Oh, sorry. Can I, can I say something, Pam? Of course. Okay. As a friend of Danielle's, I am so sorry to hear this news. I'm just blown away. But what I want to say is they are traveling. They're taking you to a place of bliss pure bliss and um you have been brought back to do certain work and you've excelled at the work that you've done and they actually as weird as this sounds they wish to reward you by taking you to a place of pure bliss your gift to so many people, so, so many people. You are just so bright and so shiny and so giving and so generous. And we are so grateful that you have participated as a person on this planet during this difficult time. And you deserve no more pain. And you deserve bliss. And that is where you're heading to bliss. Acha kumaha to kumaha to kumaho, aka kumaha to kumaho to kumo, aka kumaha. Be gone. The car, the cargo you have been carrying. 
taken away. And beautiful cream from Jesus and God is coming down right now through you. You have not only met Spirit's expectations for you, you've been so much more. And we are so grateful to you. We are so, so grateful. Shema Israel and Anuel Ainu. You are worthy of the best, the very best. You are worthy of miracles. Mother Mary actually has been missing you. Mm. And she wishes to be with you again. Mm. And that's because you are so worthy. Amen. So as we, as we wrap up, Danielle, um, what I'm hearing is to remind you and let you know, maybe you didn't know this, but I'll remind you again that there's going to be a bridge that is waiting for you when it's time. Okay. We don't know. We don't know the time frame of how long you have left before your physical body is ready to be done. Okay. When it's time, there's going to be a bridge that shows itself to you. And Mother Mary will assist you across. And this is something you can trust. This is something that I know intimately. I have experienced this with others that have done this. Okay. And yes. you, you will absolutely be guided. And your soul knows the way. Yes. So many, many, many blessings to you, sweetheart. I am so honored to be in your presence as you are experiencing this transition. And the angels are, are, are going with you now. Thank you both for everything. Love You're you, Danielle. You're welcome. So, so both of us are available to contact anytime for any more services for you. And both of us can help you assist you across the bridge if you want that assistance. Okay. And also to talk to you when the time comes and you're on the other side, you can always talk to me because I can hear you and, and I you can. Okay. And you yep. can give us some insight of what it's like over there. Yep. Yep. That's perfect. Well, Danielle, thank you so much for calling. We do need to end the show, but know that you can reach Nancy Drew at, tell us what Four, your website is. You can text me at 425-231-1123 or um, go to my website, www.nancydrewintuitivehealer.com. Great. And you can reach me, sweetheart, at brightbutterflynetwork.com. That's bright as B-R-I-G-H-T and then butterfly. Network.com. So we love you. We can't wait to uh, connect to you again. And many, many blessings to you. Many, many blessings to those of you who connected in today and know that we are here for you for your life and your journey. And we know that it's perfect all the time. <laughs> so many blessings and may, may God guide you on your journey and be blessed. Thank you for listening to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright on Transformation Talk Radio. Tune in to learn more about living a fully empowered life. Remember that your life is up to you and you can choose the spiritual path you are on. There is spiritual energy and wisdom in everything and everyone around you. Listen carefully for what the universe is trying to tell you in every moment. You are already being guided along your journey. Call upon your spirit guides anytime you need help with anything. Know that you are safe in every moment 
even if it seems that you are not. For more information about Pam Bright, visit brightbutterflyenterprises.com or email theempowermeshow at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening. We hope to see you next week.